We'll call people. That's what we'll do on this video. We'll call people. Okay, yeah, stop doing that. Don't want that. Let me close the door. What sort of evidence do we have? Just these. Oh yeah? Is that so? Just recounting the time. So how are you? How's Colorado? Science-y. Awesome! Not bad. I want to catch you up on the case. Give us the deets. Joe, there's already a word that means what you're trying to say. <laughs> Frank, it's a language, not a museum. Tear down the velvet rope standing in the way of your word imagination. <laughs> <sighs> Joe. Sorry, Nancy. Please go ahead. I was called in to solve a cold case murder. Whoa, a murder? I am flabber worried. Isn't that a little on the dangerous side? It might be. I wish we could be there to help. Where are you? We're on a submarine. Well, currently it's a boat, but intermittently it's a submarine. What are you doing on a submarine? It's sort of a long story, and we're still putting the pieces together. Not gonna lie, Nancy, it's some pretty sweet stuff. Crime syndicates, pirate treasure, and there's some talk of pirate ghosts, but no confirmations as of yet. But, but fingers crossed. More importantly, tell us about you. Joe and Frank must be bored all the time because Nancy gets all these really awesome cases and they get, they're on a sub. So they, we're on a submarine. There's talk of ghost pirates, but nothing yet. It's like, well, I've had a dangerous murder case where nobody knows who did it and there's maybe government documents involved and stuff. <laughs> it's like, we're on a sub. Uh, okay, here's the full, full scoop. scoop. Victor, the lab owner, called me in to help solve a cold case. I Why did he call you? Isn't this a job for the police? It well, that's the thing. The police hit a dead end and... Nico, the researcher who was killed, all of his papers were put into evidence. And they stay in evidence until the case is closed, right? Yep. Exactly. What makes the papers so important? Apparently, Nico was very close to making his research public. The research was supposedly going to revolutionize the way power is created and delivered in this country. Well, the world, really. Victor wants the papers released before anyone else connects the dots. If it's such a big deal, how come he didn't go to some big private eye or something? Joe? Probably because Nancy's got a very well-deserved reputation of being the best there is. I'm sorry, Nancy. I didn't mean it that way. It just seems like a really big job. It I thought the same thing, trust me. But he thinks because of my age, no one will suspect I'm undercover. I hope he's right. Und oh, undercover. That makes sense. Cool. Keep us up to date. We'll do everything we can to help. I met Ellie. The verdict? I think she's hiding something. Then she must be. I mean, when are you wrong about this stuff? I can't think of once. I met Mason. What's Mason like? A little into his work, but not bad. He <laughs> could be busy. Or he could be dodging your questions. Deirdre's decided to help me out. What's in it for her? A passing grade. Ah, oh, lucky. I wonder who her teacher is. I foiled three art heists, and did that help my art history grade? No. No, it did not. Rescue a stolen Vermeer, yet you still get a C. Mm -hmm. Nothing works like that. I met the whole crew. Now the work begins. There are some intelligence guys here who owe us a favor. We'll see if anyone's got a pass they're hiding. Fa 
I met Gray. What's his story? He doesn't seem like a people person. As person people, Frank and I disapprove. Keep an eye on him. As person people? <laughs> I met Ryan. So, what's his story? Her. Okay, hang on. Adjusting mental image, removing mustache, change haircut and shoes, done. Wait, adding hat. Okay, done for real. So what's her story? <laughs> She's the one who made the part that malfunctioned and killed Nico. That's serious. But if she wasn't arrested, there must be some doubt. Some, but Victor really thinks she might be the one. Does she seem like a cold-blooded killer? Nope. She doesn't seem like she no. can kill fly. Then keep a close eye on her. Don't forget, your safety is more important than solving the case. You're... I need help getting into the lab. There's got to be something in the building to help. A key card, maybe? Oh, maybe you could find a way to program your own. I just saw a really cool Tesla coil demo. You just said the one thing that could make me wish I wasn't on a submarine. See? I agree. I've always wanted to see one up close. It was really impressive. They're definitely on the dangerous side. Not really. Well, they can be if they're wired up wrong, but overall they're pretty safe. Do you know much about Tesla coils? Are you kidding? I'm the biggest Nikola Tesla fan in the world. I think. It might be a tie. I'll allow that. <laughs> I didn't know you two were Tesla fans. Tesla was like a real-life wizard. Well, his contributions to the scientific community are the most boring things to talk about when it comes to Tesla, Frank. He carried around an earthquake machine and built death rays. That stuff is probably blown out of proportion. I will not have you in boring Tesla, Frank. He was one of the few scientists who truly valued crazy giant lightning storms. When he was bored, he and Mark Twain would take turns electrocuting themselves. I mean, come on! The flashy stuff is cool, Joe. But what really impresses me is how all of these seemingly crazy things he dreamed up are now being proven to be actually possible. Like wireless energy? Yeah, and harvesting energy from space and the Earth itself. Wait, is that what Nico was working on? I don't know all of the details exactly, but it seems like it. Amazing! Bye! Talk to you later! Over many years people have tried to get... Harness space energy. Let's call it Vector. Hey, Big V. What's up? Nancy, hi. Tell me a little bit about your employees. Can you tell me a little bit about Ellie? She's got that small town girl act down, Pat. I guess I just can't tell who she really is. Mason says Nico was stealing from him. Is this true? No. Because the work isn't Mason's to begin with. It's a little troubling that he views it that way. How did you hear about me? Through a close friend. You've impressed a lot of people, Nancy. You seem pretty sure Ryan's the one who killed Nico. That's because she did. She made the part that malfunctioned and killed Nico. And confidentially, the police told me they're almost certain it's her. They just don't have enough evidence to get a conviction. This is your case, but don't let Ryan's buddy act fool you. She's not who she seems. Hmm. What do you think of Mason? Smart kid. Don't know much about him. Okay, I'm sure. Why did you hire me and not a big investigation firm? The crew has been questioned a lot, as you can imagine. Everyone's defenses are up. You can pull off the undercover work without drawing too much suspicion. I know it's a long shot, but I've heard good things. And... I already tried the buy-the-book way, and that got me nowhere. Can you tell me anything about Gray? I don't know much about him. He was one of Nico's hires. Nico brought Gray on? Yes, I have no idea why. He's a head case. Watch yourself around him. Understand? Can you tell me a little bit about Nico? He was an amazing scientist. Years ahead of his time. How long have you worked together? Decades. Did you spend any time together outside of work? I don't know if there was much outside of work for Nico. 
so no. Do you think Gray could have killed Nico? I don't know if he did, but I don't doubt he could have. Between you and me, if I didn't want him here to be investigated, I would have fired him immediately. Do not tell him that. I don't know how he might react. He could be really ugly. Hey, Gray. Uh, your boss, uh, if he didn't think you were a criminal, he would fire you. It's like, what? Okay, I don't even like this job. <laughs> Goodbye. Talk to you later. <laughs> he probably, like, I don't know. <laughs> he would, he would probably be like, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Let's call DJ, see if we get anything out from her. Hey there, Nancy Drew. You read up on the case, right? I don't understand why Ryan was under so much scrutiny, but never sent to trial. From what I gathered, something didn't add up with the video and the timeline. Someone had to be in the lab with Nico. Otherwise, he'd still be here today. So, if her alibi stands up, it couldn't be her. Exactly. Unless there's something big I'm missing. Something's weird about this whole thing. Well, don't keep me in suspense. Figure this out. I asked her about the night of the murder. She was pretty much mute. I'm undercover here. I can't push too hard. Can you see what you can find on your end? I'll see what I can find. All I've got is the database. Don't expect any miracles. Now, let me see here. We'll do this. We'll go snoop around some more.